All right, today we are at Epcot, and uh, I don't know if you can tell behind us, but I think everybody's at Epcot today. The reason why we are here, though, is Disney announced a couple weeks ago that they are bringing back, for a limited time, Soarin' over California. I have never done it before. Never have done Soarin' over California. In fact, we've I had a conversation with someone on Facebook about it, and they asked if I've ever done it. Never have. Shortly after that, Disney said, hey, we're bringing it to Epcot. You, on the other hand, you've done it before, right? Uh, yeah, I've been to Disneyland. And you did it at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna make a video documenting what it's like. Just, what I don't know, a few videos ago, we actually did the Soarin' Ride. Now we're gonna do Soarin' Over California. So that's why we're here today. Let's go check it out. Now, as we are walking in, it's been the busiest ever with traffic. I will say we kind of got lucky because we ended up doing the Genie Plus and we are in a lightning lane for Soarin' Over California. I looked most of the day today and the average wait time was 65 to 75 minutes. So we didn't want to mess with that wait. And based on the traffic coming into Epcot, I think everybody's trying to get on it today. Since today is the first day it is at Epcot. So as we are walking in, I'm going to insert some footage of us pulling into Epcot with all the traffic so you can see what that looks like. So this is the uh, traffic getting into Epcot right now. I've never seen it this far backed up. It's probably been about 10 minutes and um, we're getting there, but this is the craziest it's ever been. Here's just another view of uh, all the cars coming in here. <laughs> this is unreal. Now it is currently 5.53. Uh, it seems like everybody's coming after work, but our lightning lane goes until 6.15, so we've got plenty of time to get there. Um, very thankful we did it, and probably within this opening weekend, if you plan on coming, definitely recommend getting the lightning lane. Normally we're not a fan of the lightning lane, but in instances like this, it's definitely worth it. I just looked and Soren over California is a 65 minute wait currently, about six o'clock. I have never seen it like this before. Here's the park entrance. This is insane. This is a video about Soren over California, but we're gonna throw in the crowds while we're here. Definitely glad we are documenting this because this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is like opening of Galaxy's Edge-ish. This is insane. Wow. It is currently so busy that they're not doing the finger scans when you are scanning your tickets to get in. They are just scanning the tickets and that's it. So I am very thankful. We have Lightning Lane. We're gonna head over to Soren as we speak and get to hop on it. And as a side note, it's opening weekend on Sunday for Moana. I think cast member previews might be going on. We saw some people scan some stuff, but hopefully these walls will be down soon because it's definitely packed through here. We have made it over to the land. I don't know if they're going to have any spe special signage up for Soren over California or if it's still going to look pretty much the same. Let's see. Do they have, they just have Soren up there. They might not switch the sign, I don't know. Now that we kind of made it through all the people, I am very excited to ride this because I never have. But I mean, overall tonight is a busy night. So I'd say it's gonna be probably a busy weekend if you are planning on coming anytime. I'd say anytime within a week, but weather's perfect outside right now too. This is where busy time begins. It currently shows it's a 60 minute wait. But 6.11 right now, our pass goes through 6.15, which they give you a five minute grace period. So it's really 6.20. But we will get to scan right on up here. Oh, they do have a little sign. Sweet, we can go get a picture of it. Right over here, soaring over California. Here is the current standby entrance, the standby lane. Yeah, we've waited from here before. I mean, it probably, it is a 60 minute wait. Sometimes it can be a little earlier, but I'd say for tonight, you are probably looking at a 60 minute wait. 
we'll see how long the lightning lane is today it was definitely worth it as far as pricing goes it's always priced differently now so today on a friday it was 17 dollars a piece for two people so it was 34 dollars plus tax i think it was around 36 dollars and we were able to get the lightning lane for this so in instances like this the lightning lane totally worth it although look at the line it start it stops right on up here we'll time it 613 so we will see how long it takes to get on from this point it's currently 621 and they finally did a big chunk here for all of us to get going so it's been been a little while actually but we're gonna be over here in concourse a it's currently been 11 minute wait so far we have waited 11 minutes in the lightning lane it's currently 628 so 15 minutes and we are moving finally down to the bottom part we'll see how long it officially takes to get seated on the actual ride. Now, just so you know, you have to be at least 40 inches tall. We will see where we can get here. We're on row three, which in our first video, we showed row three because that's the lowest row. So row one, you're at the tallest point. Row two, you're in the middle. Row three, you're at the very bottom. And here's the new screen that shows what we're flying over Super excited for this. There's a lot of good spots. Now boarding. All right, we are all strapped in. I'm so excited for this. So we're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff.
for Soren with us. All right, exit to our right. It's also currently 6.43, so we got in line at 6.13, it's 6.43. So overall, it took 30 minutes. All right, we are out this way. The wait is still long. Crazy thing is though, while we were in line, there were more lightning lanes open, some for like 8.30 and stuff. So we're not gonna do it again today, but um, if you don't get it right away, the lightning lane, just stay on there because you might be able to get another one. And like I mentioned last time, I love this little waiting area where it looks like an airport. Love this little spot. Very thankful we got to do that today. And it's still just as crazy in here, but we can head back outside, do our outro, and tell you what we think. All right, that was our experience with Soren over California. Now, you had something you wanted to say? Oh, yeah, I misspoke earlier. I rode this when it was at Disney World. I have been to Disneyland, that wasn't a lie, but I rode it when we were at Disney World. I think 2011 is when I rode it. Gotcha. And then they recently switched. I mean, it's been a few years, but they did have have it over here for a while yeah and then they did the new one 16 whenever they switched it to soaring over the world soaring around the world soaring around, around the world yeah um i have to say that I, I liked it a lot i think having something new in there was great i actually really liked it um i think the big thing was new smells the orange grove that everybody talks about great smell there was some sort of mint smell some sort of pine yeah. yeah, I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I would say is not as good with the one here at Epcot is their transitions weren't as good. So it wasn't like um, on the regular ride. The eagle goes. Yeah, the eagle goes through. You have like things come through the screen. This one, it just stopped and went to the next screen, uh, which is fine. But I noticed that that wasn't as good as the original. Smells, I would say, are pretty equal. That was just a new smell. But there's some good smells on the regular Soren. But the orange and stuff, really great smells in fact the people next to me i could hear them say wow that smells so good with all the smells mm -hmm. so we enjoyed that um hoping that maybe epcot will keep this around i think it's for it's for a limited time but i'm hoping they'll occasionally bring it back because that was really fun i'd like for them to start doing other ones too yeah they need a they need a Change remake of their um they need a remake of their original one and my guess is they're probably going to do one because even that last scene on Soaring Around the World, whenever they go over Epcot, it's all outdated. It's all outdated, yeah. Maybe they're working on it right now. But I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Very thankful we got to do it. Would highly recommend a lightning lane. Um, if not, just expect at least an hour wait. Uh, other than that, had a really good time and we will probably ride it again before it's gone. So I loved it. And we even had the worst seat because the third row down at the bottom, you don't get to see it all. It wasn't as, I'm about ready to wrap this up, but it wasn't as distorted. The bridge in the beginning was distorted, but other than that, there were, it was all landscape. So it wasn't like really distorted like it is with Soren around the world. Mm -hmm. So anyway, with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.